Hello everyone, welcome back again. We're going to be going back to the 16th of December, was it? 16th of December. Going to be ruling this country a little bit longer. Got of Muso here. This is his family name. So we'll have a quick look around before we actually do anything. We really are growing now. We've got all of Finland apart from this one little province. Which is starting to annoy me actually, <laughs> not having that. But there is a little bit of a problem. Oh, look at look at Basid here taking over all of Egypt. Well, um, not not all of it, but most of it. Yeah, most of it in the game as well. And uh, we got a few big powers actually. And I'm surprised these guys managed to survive when these could have got just sort of crushed them. But uh, even though we're growing, we got a problem. See, our king is forty, and he has great pox. And having great pox usually kills. I mean, it's syphilis, so it's not gonna be good for him. It decreases his health by two, which is <coughs> sorry for that, which is more or less just deadly anyway. He's gonna die. And then his ear is not very well known. His ear will be hated, which is gonna be a problem. In fact, let's give him some land. Yeah, give him that land. Oh. Alright. Oh, you'd be... Yeah, okay, hang on. <laughs> give him this land instead. Let's just give him upland. Yeah, that'd be... Give him the capital. Yeah, that's good. He's not got a place to rule. He's actually pretty good. He's, um, brave, diligent, patient. <coughs> oh, sorry. I hope that doesn't show up on the recording too much. Be very, uh... Strange this weekend. Cynical. But, uh, but apart from that, he's he's good. Good, it'd be nice. Oh, and he's a mastermind theologian as well, so he's got high, yeah, high learning. Yeah, 16 learning, wow. The only thing he's got low on is Marshall, so we'll have to try and get that fixed. So don't really declare a war, I want things to settle down after what happened last time. I've got a large army, but it's not as big as it once was. Great Moravia is looking quite great, and so is Bavaria. And so is Tuscany actually. It's growing nicely. Not sure we'll be able to find any allies out of them, considering that we've more or less wiped out most of the Norse nations. The only ones left are um Scotland and uh and the Danish. <coughs> the Danish haven't converted any of these people actually. I'm not sure how long they've been in charge of these provinces. Not too young long I don't think. Jailand, Jai, Jailand. Hmm. Right. Could create some titles, but I want to wait because this guy doesn't need the prestige. He's not going to live that long. Got no one researching tech here. There we are. Much better. Can imprison some people, but I'm only going to do it if they have a high chance of success. Yeah, none of them do. So we can let some money build up to uh, to have our son inherit. This guy's just really like us now, by now. Oh no, they hate us. Okay. Oh, it was... Oh, that's... That's scheduling. This was... Oh yeah, he does love us. Yep. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Uh, would... Your would your court would my courtier be willing to marry my courtier? Apparently not. Too bad. I'm not sure we're ever gonna spread Norse culture anywhere, but we are we are spreading the religion quite well. Mordvin. Mordvin culture. Oh, that's interesting. The Hungarians don't seem to have done anything very much. Oh wow. Yeah. Magyars, after all these years, haven't invaded. Or at least they must have lost that war somehow. They still have a huge stack of warriors. Mordu, Wallachia, Bulgaria. Bulgaria is still alive, surprisingly. <coughs> Don't know how that managed to happen. No longer Chancellor, so we'll get a new Chancellor. This dude could be Chancellor, 
you can improve relations with um, these dudes over there, just random people. Uh, that's like child. That's it. You're in the curfew. Alfred. Looking at Alfred. Oh dear. These peasants we have all are all mine to command like little slaves, right? Uh, you're under curfew. She got wrath. Well, at least she's not going to be the next leader. The falconer is expecting me as a new hunting bird has arrived and waits my inspection. Hmm. Get prestige if I'm busy, so. So it's 9.14, and in a thousand years, the First World War will start. Ah, oh, we've been at peace for too long. That isn't good. Oh, we <laughs> could. I'm busy. Definitely busy. Oh, that's interesting. So these guys have been marching out to do stuff. There they are. There they are. I want to see how they do now. I'll watch them. Ooh, where do they disappear off to? Do they just like fly out, or are they going here? Are they here? Or are they here? I don't know. I'll see if a new country arises nearby. <coughs> it's just disappeared. Oh. Oh, they're in Livonia. And they're getting what seems to be crushed. Oh no, they're not. So that's that's sort of a bit. I'm not sure about this. Um, yep, it's your challenge. Refuse. So I should get. Yeah, I got prestige. That's nice. So let's see if he if he wins. Ooh. Oh, he hasn't. He's lost. It's hard. That's quite surprising, actually. I was created the Yaldum of Estonia. Well, that's good. People create them without me having to spend money on it. Hmm. Yeah, they're gone. They're more or less gone. They very rarely actually win, though, in the end, so that's not surprising. If they'd gone over here, they almost certainly would have won. But I think they wanted a bit better prize than that. These guys, Slavics, we, should inv we could invade them and that would be pretty easy. Huh? Why can't we invade them? I don't get that, usually you can just invade to take a naval province from another religion. So I think that's how it works. Yeah. These guys. We can do it to all their naval ones, so I'm not sure what's up with these. Wait, are they a one province place? Yeah, they are. Oh, they are. I thought that was one nation there. That's probably why we can't. I don't, I'm not sure, but that might be why. Uh, we might as well <laughs> just just do that while we're there. Right, uh, new marshal who can be Bo. I know Bo's awesome. Sixty years old as well. He's growing up. Yeah, I'll be leaving him his own life soon. Oh, ha ha. Oh, wow. Okay. Daughter-in-law's in prison. So let's talk talk about this then. God damn it! Won't select. Can we offer someone money? I never got this, how it doesn't just come up, but it should be okay anyway. She's not very important to our dynasty. This guy is. And, oh, daughter-in-law. Yeah, it's, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so she's important, right. Imprisoned by Smarland. Oh, okay. Doesn't... Does that make any sense? Because he's in my realm. Smaland is in my realm. God damn it. He won't type, type. Right, there we are. Yardama Smaland. And there it is. 
And there's its owner. Okay, you need to let her go. In prison. Yeah, there we are. Prison him. Okay, I don't care about your rebellion. Because he can't just be doing that. He can't just be imprisoning relatives of the king or relative or people who married relatives of the king at least. Yeah, so we'll just collapse in on here and crush him. There we are. Smolin's actually a pretty weak uh sort of duchy. It's only got a few territories. Not like before when we accidentally had half of the country revolt. Uh daughter marries the son of Scotland, yes. No idea how good that is. Right. Once you got like four or five thousand there I can start to siege it without taking much casualties. Without taking many casualties, I mean. There we are. See, once you get to a certain uh, amount of people, it just it doesn't matter that they have the walls. You just overpower them. Barely anyone dies. Though that's not what happened to the um, to the uh, do, do, do those guys. <laughs> Forgot which battle it was now, but there was one famous one where the defenders were outnumbered like fifty to one. Uh, second liberation of Ireland? You're kidding me, right? Okay, right. We won't lose any battles because we'll despawn de these troops, and then afterwards, after doing this war, we'll just go straight over there and, and liberate Ireland from the Irish. Um, right, siege. Siege. Sieges. Right, you guys can, um, whoops. What? No, 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 no. No, stop, stop! Oof. You guys can come in this way instead. Cause that makes more sense because you get to crush the army on the way in. 100%? There he is. Huh? Can I just. Yeah, I can force him out. I don't know what I was doing then. We gave prestige, and he's imprisoned. There we are. Right. Wow, wow, 70 they'd, they'd, they'd hit his body. We could get some money out of this, but I'm not sure that's really worth it. I'll just keep him in prison until he dies, I think. Did that make everyone haters? Yeah. Minus 40, but uh, surprisingly, only he has a negative opinion of us, so that, that minus 40 is still not much. Which is strange. Well, that's good. <laughs> not sure what we achieved, but we, we got revenge, right. Now for Ireland, for Ireland, and I think it's alt now that I just found out recently that could, yeah, I found out recently that alt just selects all your naval units, it's amazing. Right, armies, gather in Sunderland, <laughs> I'm sure that's not what it is, beca because that's a place in Britain, but travel to Sunderland, oh, succession, okay. Good stats, but I'm worried because he's got no prestige. And this prisoner, who we hate, uh, is going to be put in worse condition, so he dies. Right, so, let's become exalted among men. That, that should work. And call Scotland into the war, which, that would be great. But I want to save them for if we go into civil war. Which, I'm going to be honest, I've tried this before. I've actually done this episode before, and apart from technical difficulties, which stopped me a couple of times, we've also collapsed once. Like, once we actually just lost everything, so I didn't put that one up. Let's please people a bit. I don't give them money. Uh, I don't give them land. I want to get people up to positives. Is everyone on a positive? No, but this guy only likes his by minus 17, so it's not that bad. You can just pay him off. There, okay, so people don't hear us, and that will go up because of our short reign will go down. Defending against infidels is actually pretty good. So I want to try and keep this war going on for a while. Let's get some prestige. We'll get some for winning the war, but I want to create titles now to secure this guy's reign. So yeah, we collapsed due to... 
uh, we we collapsed due to the fact that we didn't have we we did have too many rebellions, and everyone just came out against this dude, despite how good he is. He's got a decent diplomacy as well. State diplomacy is thirty four, which is impressive. So uh, that's quite good, but I'm still worried that things are going to go very pear-shaped. Oh, he's had a son. Is that his first kid? Yes, so this is a very important time. Select. Let's give land so that he's... So he does alright. Give him barony. But it won't actually be ruled by him because he's too young, but it will be ceremonially ruled by him. Come on guys, mass up. If we're going we're not going near with like five thousand guys. Cause that would be ridiculously easy to lose. Now seven thousand guys, that's more reasonable. We definitely need to get there soon. Come on. Everyone mount up. Siege camps, don't care, I'll be there in a minute. Right. Let's go wait for these two stacks to get here. Come on. Alright, give them good leaders. Like Annie here. <laughs> Guy called Annie. Oh, is that Ami? Am Arnie! Arnie! Oh, Arnie. Okay. See, for, consi for considered kings, this is actually a pretty huge army. In this, in this boat here. Combine all that up. And then we'll go here. Pick up the rest of these dudes. There they are. Straight to Dover. Land's End. St. George's Channel. Oh! Oh, they've been hit. Okay. I don't know how those Irish guys decided they would go all the way over to the Cornwall, but um, we seem to have lost the first major battle of this when they did that. Okay. Let's place these guys here. Come on. Combine. 9,500. Come in there. And we're going to lose them. Doesn't matter because we can still crush this force. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Get back in there. And there. You take this land back. Also, you 33 guys just come over here because you'll get stomped. We're not getting any money, but we are getting um, piety. So, yeah, I actually want to keep this war going because of the. Uh oh, we got two <laughs> I forgot to get the duchies out. We got too many duchies. Wow. Okay. Wow, that was um, that was something just then when I forgot to put the duchies out. Okay, Australander. Oh, I remember Australander. Ooh, oh whoa, one guy with negatives. That's pretty good. And uh, now zero guys with negatives. It's because we're giving Norland. So. Wow, even with defending against infidels, we still have no negatives. And that's not very impressive for, like, 
a few years ago, but now that's amazing. So where's this army then? Where's the Irish? Oh, there they are. There they are, the Irish. Okay. They seem to be fighting the other nations of Ireland. I suppose they're trying to reunite Ireland rather than just do free our part. There we are. Crushed. They're still alive. Just notice that our army appears to be wearing Crusader gear. Don't don't know why. I know if if it's historically accurate the gear they're wearing, then fair enough. But I don't think it is because it looks too Christian. There we are. Right. So I might want to keep this, but then again, our prestige is good, and I know people will like the fact that I've just won a great war. So I'm gonna do that, can I, I'll get 42 gold for freeing him, for uh, banishing him move these guys here so everyone home and check out the situation at home so that's good, because we've already got 800 prestige so we're close to at the age of 24 becoming a sword among men and we can hold a great blot as well, so that's good everyone should still love us, yeah everyone still loves us short range going down lovely, that's brilliant Guests have arrived. Do we have any sacrifices? Oh, this guy. Yes, definitely. He should die. Uh, she should die. This is putting us ever closer to that prestige uh, gap. Right. Ah, there wasn't one more, but we are so close that it doesn't matter now. Blah, blah. Someone didn't like me there. Because there's always someone. Does that put down a negative? Wow, there was a negative now. Do we kill, like... A family member or something. Oops. Has become exalted among men. And then we get another hundred for free, right? What's this? Oh, he's just ambitious and stuff. Right, okay. Have martial ability or have a daughter. Well, both of those are useful because I think that makes it a bit more likely. But I think martial ability is more important for now because six is like average and we want him to be great, so he'll be great. Another duchy, might as well, because it's good to have a bit of infrastructure in the country anyway. So we'll do that. And we'll give it to this guy because he doesn't like us. We want to keep everyone happy, you see. Well, there we are. You are the Yol. 22, we'll make him cup bearer. And give him some money. There we are. Everything's good. I'm surprised at, holy hell. Okay, so Bulgaria lost most of its territory and then just took over this huge slab of land. It's kind of strange. We survived. We did well. Loved again. Uh, long live the king, I suppose. 